Mason, you've had some first team opportunities out there. How are you feeling about just the way things are starting off? Uh, no, I'm feeling pretty good, but you know, I'm just trying to build on it every single day, trying to get better every single day. So uh, I told I told the room the other day, you know, nobody's position is promised, so it, it makes it better on everybody to push each other, take each other's spots, you know, just keep working against each other, you know, just motivate each other. So, you know, as a whole, I feel like that makes us better. And, you know, we're just going to keep building on that every single day. You're one of the vets out here. Um, what does that, does that mean you have to become more of a vocal leader in that way? Yeah, uh, I've been working. I've been working towards that every single day. You know, trying to take more of a leadership role, trying to get better at it, and uh, you know, I'm getting more comfortable at it because you know I, I play with guys like Chase Lucas, and Jack Jones for you know a few years, Evan Fields, and you know they was always the vocal leaders in our group. So um, it's different seeing them gone and you know being the older guy. You know, it happens fast, so you just gotta step up. How much comfortable do you feel now versus the spring with the new scheme and a new position coach? Uh, yeah, I love it. I'm a, I'm a lot comfortable with it. I feel like it plays to my playing style personally. Um, I feel like this is the most comfortable I've been in the scheme since, you know, my junior year high school. Any you like uh, skills in specific you really tried to hone on from uh, spring until fall camp? Um, really just, just trusting just trusting what I see, you know, playing intelligent. Uh, Past years, I've been kind of second guessing myself. But, you know, um, since I've been getting older and things like that, and I've been getting more experiences, what I see, I just do it. I'm an attention player, and I know that. And now I'm just really acting on it. Now. I'm trusting myself now. So now it's becoming, you know, more second nature than anything. What about the physical part of the game? Obviously, you've gotten stronger and added size over the last couple of years. How does that help you? Uh, I feel like this year, um, this is the most I push myself, you know, physically and like mentally. So. Um, you know, I talk to the coaches about, you know, what weight they want me at. And, you know, I really push myself to get to that goal, and I feel a lot better for it. Um, I was one of those guys who always thought when I was younger, you know, if you get bigger, you're going to get slower. But as I got bigger, I've been getting a lot faster, and I feel the best shape I've been in my life. What's, what was the goal weight? Was the goal weight? Yeah, what was it? About 180, 185. Yeah. Sorry. And um, the coaches have always talked about, like, like your what you said, your football IQ is very high. Yeah. Um, like, what does that sort of enable on the field? Like, do you see things maybe that's a little bit early or different than um, other guys? Or I feel like for me, just as a whole for the team, it's a communication standpoint. So what I see, I'm going to call it, you know, I love playing like alongside guys like JC and X, and it just makes everything easier when you communicate and everybody's on the same page and everybody sees what each other sees. So when one person sees something, the other person sees the same thing. Or if they don't see it, you can let them know what you see coming. And... You know, I feel like with the guys we got on this staff and the guys we got on this team, like even adding guys like Shamarian before, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a good year.